It happened a few minutes ago. Condolences to the family and all fans of Marie Osmond. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. The well-known singer and actress Mary Osmond has experienced both heartbreaking lows and incredible highs in her life. What she's accomplished as a mother, she values her reputation and accomplishments from her acting and music careers more than anything else. Mary's first husband, Steve Craig, with whom she had three biological children, Steve and Jessica, marked the beginning of her motherhood adventure. Five adopted children entered her life with her second marriage to Brian Basso, according to Mary and Rachel Lore. Brianna was Brandon. Patricia Abigail Olive, May Matthew Richard and Michael Blasso, during which she was honored with honors for her accomplishments in acting and music, Mary has always regarded becoming a mother as her greatest achievement, despite the rewards and difficulties that come with raising a large family. The youngest BRD, Michael Blasso, had a particular struggle. He had been adopted into the Osman family mere days after his birth, but his birth father had tragically died in a car accident before Michael was even born. When Michael was 13 years old, his biological mother discovered her way into the Asman household, bringing with her unmistakable proof of their familial condition due to their strikingly similar facial features. Mary and her husband initially hesitated to allow this reunion, but the children including Michael couldn't contain their curiosity and ventured into the room to meet their biological grandmother. It was a point in meeting that spent over an hour with Michael's birth mother, recounting the story of his birth and the circumstances that led to his adoption. She left an address and phone number, but as fifth, with have it the flowers Michael sent her were returned undelivered, and her phone number was disconnected leaving them unable to reconnect years later, Michael's birth mother would admit to Mary Asman that she wanted to respect her privacy and not disrupt the life that Michael had known. She expressed that she has endeared a difficult life herself, and Mary commended her for making the difficult decision to give Michael a better life. As Michael grew up in the Asman family, he often struggled to find his place. He had enjoyed being the baby of the family for four and a half years, but the constant arrival of new siblings in quick succession made it challenging for him to adjust with his mother busy with work and his elder siblings immersed in their after-school activities. Michael frequently felt isolated, and those feelings of loneliness followed him into adulthood one fifeful day. Michael made a heart-wrenching call to his mother, expressing that he felt he had no friend however, his roommates and his new female best friends at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising where he was a freshman assured Mary that he was never truly alone, he always had friends around him. Mary sensed the pain in her son's voice and couldn't ignore it, wondering if it was due to his academic demands or worries over a girl he liked. Mary suggested taking a day trip to Los Angeles to spend time with Michael, and she also offered to pay for Michael to travel to Vegas so they could have a private discussion. It's little to know that the weight of despair doesn't wait for a convenient moment. Tragically, Mary would never hear her son's voice again that evening. After returning from a friend's daughter's wedding, she was getting ready for the night when her phone rang. She didn't recognize the number at first, so she just slept it off. However, when the same number kept calling, she became worried. When she finally answered, the guard at her neighborhood's gates informed her that police officers and a representative from the C's office were waiting to see her. They traveled to her hotel to deliver the devastating news that Michael had taken his own life on February 26, 2010, at the age of 18. Mary later discussed her anguish and the immense guilt she felt in an interview with Larry King. Looking back, Mary has often wondered if introducing Michael to his birth mother at such a young age had played a significant role in his struggles. She wishes they had been more cautious, perhaps waiting until he was older to navigate this delicate reunion the weights of what-ifs and regret. Michael's struggles with adoption issues were well known to her, 
and he had even gone so far as to legally change his name from Blasso to Brian. Mary's passing left her with unanswered questions. Mary understood, though, that thinking about these issues will only make it more difficult for her to go on and deal with the suffering and sadness. Mary went to where she felt safe. Her talents and charisma in the entertainment industry also exposed her to the consequences of the pressures of fame and constant media scrutiny. Nevertheless, the stage, where she found comfort in performing her music, became a source of strength, allowing her to express her emotions and find a semblance of healing. Mary's hectic schedule of back-to-back -back film shoots, promotional events, and public appearances left her with little time for rest. Many people who knew her well attested to the fact that she would frequently go days without getting enough sleep. This was one of the factors contributing to Mary's decline. Sleep deprivation can have serious negative effects on a person's physical and emotional well-being, including moose wings. Mary's ongoing lack of sleep probably had a major impact on her declining mental condition due to decreased cognitive performance and elevated stress levels. Her dependence on herbal supplements, which are sometimes thought of as natural and safe, but can interact with other medications and have negative effects on mental health, was another aspect of the actress's life that led to her downward spiral. Mary was known to take a variety of these supplements in her quest for better health and vitality, frequently without first seeing a doctor. In August 2012, Mary's struggles with herbal supplements for sleep and prescription medications led to a severe mental health crisis. She had a nervous breakdown, and her family and friends had to make the difficult decision to admit her to Norton Psychiatric Hospital in Louisville. Reactive psychosis was the diagnosis given to Mary Reeve. A severe mental illness called reactive psychosis is defined by an abrupt and intense development of psychotic symptoms, which are frequently brought on by extreme stress or traumatic experiences. This information illuminated the severity of her emotional trauma. Despite the treatments and support Mary received at Norton Psychiatric Hospital, her journey toward recovery will be difficult and lengthy. During her three days of intensive medication before being released into her family's care, the hospitalization phase consisted of treatment with medication to stabilize her condition. This post-hospital phase can be especially difficult for people with mental health issues as they navigate the complexities of managing their condition in the outside world. Mary was on a difficult recovery path, working closely with doctors, therapists, and her support system to regain her mental stability. Despite being discharged, Mary continued to suffer from depression and experienced side effects from some of the medications she was prescribed. But the path to recovery is actually quite simple and disappointments can be depressing. On October 26, at around 9 o'clock a.m., the news of Mary's untimely death shocked the entertainment industry and her fan base. A thorough investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death revealed that Mary was taking medication to stabilize her mood when she was found dead by a sanitation worker in the driver's seat of her private car that had crashed into a tree on a rural road south of Los Gatos, California. Mary's journey from her ascent to her untimely demise serves as a poignant reminder of the difficulties people in the public eye encounter while dealing with mental health issues, including her battles with prescription drugs and herbal remedies for sleep. Misusage emphasizes the value of professional advice in holistic mental health care as well as family support. Thanks for watching my video.